So I think the client was really excited heading into animation. Uh, this was something that they had never done before in terms of just the epic scale that the dragons were going to be represented. This is the most we would have seen from Drogon up till now. In the previous seasons, he was uh, about half the size. So this is kind of his big moments where he's in full daylight, full view, lots of scrutiny. So the expectations for the sequence were set really, really high. We knew we had to basically jump over a bar they'd set in previous seasons. What were our expectations? Our expectations was going to be better than last season. We had to have better animation, we had to have better lighting, we had to have better integration. And we were totally willing and able to do that. Everyone in the studio was really excited, really pumped, and everybody was on board, and we all came together as one cohesive unit to, to be able to deliver what they wanted. It was nice because we actually got to meet with them and they came to the studio versus having to do it over email or something. So it was easier on our side to be able to get the verbal communication and to figure out exactly what they were looking for. Joe always came to us and he said, here's an idea, now make it badass. So he gave us that creative flexibility to be able to take his idea, harness it, and that was something that everybody on the team was really excited about. It's always fun seeing your characters come to life. Up till this point, they'd probably just been looking at storyboards and previs. So it's not till we get into animation where they're looking at the shots they shot on set and we start tying it all together with the motion and just building a sequence from there. There's already a block in people's mind that there is no dragon, it doesn't exist. You can't possibly have shot that for real. So I think the bar is set higher for those expectations and animation to make that physically real. What that meant to us is it had to have personality and it had to have physicality. Biggest obstacles, uh, without a doubt, were the interaction shots where Danny is riding him and touching him. Anytime you have a live action character interacting with a CG creature, uh, inherently it introduces certain constraints on your creature. So instead of uh, having you know, Drogon drive Danny's animation, we had to work the other way around and work from whatever animation or whatever motion they, they got out of her on set. And it was all good stuff, it just means that you know, if she moves a certain way, you can't have Drogon moving too quickly because she won't react to it. So you kind of have to find little motions she does and animate accordingly to kind of sell that and bring it all together. If you make something that's big and fast, it might be impressive from a, you know, an impact type of moment, but it's not going to be real and it's going to take the audience out of it. So you're always on this kind of tightrope balancing what's really big and huge and fast and menacing versus what looks real and could we really do something with a creature of this mass. You know, you kind of have to use your instinct, but then you also have to just kind of follow the supervisor's lead. And we did. We relied on that very heavily in order to kind of seamlessly interweave all of these characteristics for what we were trying to do. Joe and Steve, Joe especially, referred to a lot of references that he would pull and draw upon to try and help guide what would be the basis for the dragon. We commonly use four dragon-like creatures a combination of reptilian type things and bird-like things. So if you look at alligators or lizards, um, bats and birds, but something a little bit different that we did with Drogon is we really wanted to get this predatorial feel for him. So we took a lot of reference from felines. Uh, we tried to keep his head really stable and even if his body was moving around a lot because it gave him more of that predatorial cat-like feel. So we have to use our imagination uh, to make this come to life, which at the end of the day is really what visual effects is all about. It's about taking something that does not exist anywhere in the world and putting that into an environment where people at the end of the day walk away and they say, wow, that was amazing. There was a dragon that just ran through that shot. And so if we were able to pull that off, that's what we want to do. That's our goal. That's, our, that's everyone's goal in the visual effects industry is to make someone walk away and say, wow, that was amazing.